hat man. We have a problem. What's it today, boss? I just got word that Dr. Eddie Notifin is confirmed to be alive. I thought that Grady died in a teleporter accident. Not anymore, I guess. Anyways, he was last sighted in a taco time at the edge of nowhere. It's the taco time. Really? What's next? A Bigfoot setting in a McDonald's? Go there now, will ya? Uh, right. Yes, sir. Later. Oh, finally, a customer. Now, that doesn't happen very often, you know? Uh, no. I'm uh, here for a, uh, business inquiry. We were never told about a business inquiry. Wait, who's we? Oh, my, bu my buddy Ed and I. He runs the back end while I deal with the customers. Ah, Ed. Ed? Ed. May I see Ed? Nope, oh, not right now, Hat Man. <gasps> How do you know my name? Because everyone around here has an extremely literal name. Oh, yeah, right. So why is Ed's name so literal? He's not from around here. Oh, yeah. Because, like, Ed's from, like, Europe or something, right? Yep. So, is it cool to see Eddie after closing? I'll ask him. You're good. Cute place. It is indeed. Yes, indeed, I am the one and only. Eddie Notofen. Yes, I know you're Eddie Notofen. Oh, good, I didn't want to keep that act up. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions since you've been missing for 15 years, just so I have the right guy. That should be fun, right? Now, let's begin. Have you stolen anything in your lifetime? Why, yes, actually. A loaf of bread after the war. Mm hmm. Excuse me one second, I have to take a <coughs> phone call. And now. A skit inside of a skit. Suddenly, budget cuts. The bounty hunter hat man had tried to contact his friend slash employer flat cap man for assistance because he had forgotten to bring handcuffs. Being the wise guy he is, flat cap man tries to steal a bit from a really old YouTube video he found funny. Having already seen the bit a few weeks ago, Hat Man called the wise guy out for his shenanigans and promptly hung up. With no other options, Hat Man confronts Dr. Edward Nottofen, who had committed the atrocious crime of stealing a loaf of bread after the war, on his own, without any handcuffs. As expected, the doctor bolted toward the door behind Hat Man, giving the bounty hunter perfect clearance to body block the small man. Determined to stay out of prison, Eddie darts to a crevice in the side of the room where only he can fit through. Suddenly, a large door opens on that side of the room, revealing a seven-foot-tall, completely steel robot that Edward was now piloting. Wanting nothing to do with this behemoth, Hat Man gets a bucket of water and drenches the robot in it. Obviously, the robot explodes, launching Edward through the ceiling and into the sky. Fast forward three days and Hat Man and Flat Cap Man are enjoying the fruits of their labor, a whole $200, while Edward was fined $29.32 and went along his life as normal. 